Hello everyone, my name is Mike Dorado and welcome to Rock Studio One. We are excited to bring you a how-to video of how we're going to take an old PA, P31, P21 power station, the program off of this computer, this HMI that actually finally broke, and we are going to go ahead and bring it over here to the latest and greatest that Parker CTC has to offer, which is the PA2. So this is what the how-to video is going to show you today. You do have the option, if you'd like, you can convert this Interact program to the latest software, which is Interact Express, and Rock Engineering Services can help you through that. So thank you so much for watching our video, and we're looking forward to getting this thing started. Okay, everyone, now you're looking at my computer, and what you're looking at is a virtual machine image of Windows XP. You either have to have a computer with Windows XP or a virtual machine of Windows XP, which I have, in order to run Machine Shop Toolbar uh, and or Interact. That was the latest approved OS that Interact was allowed to, uh, to be run on. So what you do is you go down in here to Explore, and I'm going to take a look at the compact flash disk off of the old unit which happens to be in my H drive. You then go to Interact, go to App Files, and this doesn't this name doesn't mean it, but I know that this folder, based on where I went to, is the application. You open up that folder and grab all of the files, right click, copy, and let's go ahead and make a new folder on my desktop, and we're gonna call it uh, Demo open it up and then we're going to paste all of those files into that uh, folder we just created on our desktop called demo okay guys so the next step is we're going to go ahead and open up the machine shop toolbar double click on the icon and we are going to create a brand new project and we're going to give it a name called demo or you're going to give it a name to whatever you would like the project and application name I'm just gonna call it demo and demo and I'm gonna hit finish and I know you can actually go ahead and do more at this point as far as configuring drivers and other things we're just gonna hit finish and so the software can actually create certain paths for this demo project and application in File Explorer. We're doing this ahead of time so we know where to put the files we just extracted from the old power station and put them in the correct place. But you need to create the project and application ahead of time, as we just did. Okay, in this step, we are going to go ahead and take the files that we created for, or we grabbed from the old unit, and we are gonna Take a look at Explorer. We're going to take a look, look at how things are set up within the machine shop environment. So if you go to machine shop, go to projects, go to interact projects, you'll see our project here is called demo. And when you open that up, you'll see a, a folder called app files. We'll open that up and you'll see a folder called demo. And in demo is where the actual this path was created and it's waiting for our files to be placed in this folder. So we'll go back to our desktop and we will grab all of these files, copy them, and we will go back to again the application where Interact was created called Demo. Right click paste it and you're always going to get this message and I always and you have to always say yes to all now that you've brought them over and they're copied over you can then make sure you have to close down interact or exit out of it and then go ahead the machine shop toolbar and then go ahead and open up the machine shop toolbar and now you can actually run interact and now you actually, whatever you copied, 
will show up. If you look at the panels, you can take a look at a couple of panels just to make sure this is what was on the old program and now is on your computer. Take a look at the sensors. If you want to go ahead and take a look at some of the application settings. And we can cancel out of that. But you also can go in and take a look, more importantly, to see how the PLC was set up to confirm to make sure you've got your power station configured correctly to talk to the PLC. In this instance, looks like they were using COM1 and talking serial uh, using Allen Bradley Data Highway Plus. And then I go over here to File and Save All. I also want to make sure in my Interact settings that I want to start this guy up when I power up. So you always have to put in a startup application. That's one location. The other thing you got to do in the application manager is go to the application settings and make sure in startup mode that this thing is in to run. Now that you've done all that, we're almost ready to go ahead and download this. In fact, we are ready to go ahead and download this to the new compact flash disk. Okay, everyone, in this final step, we're now going to take the files and we're going to transfer them to the new compact flash disk. So just to, before I do this, I just want to recap. We grab the files from an old power station, put the files on the desktop in a location that we can uh, remember where to get them. We then created an Interact project and application so the pass and the pointers could be satisfied within the Interact software. And then we copied the files that we grabbed from the old disk and put them in its proper location on the C drive. We actually opened up the program and we saw things making sure uh, pages and the driver was set up correctly. And now the last thing we got to do in this step is go ahead and download this project called Demo to the new compact flash disk. So I put the new compact flash disk in my adapter and I'm going to go ahead and hit this button over here and it is a download button. And what it's going to do is do you want to download the complete project? Yes, I do. I'm going to go ahead and hit download. And there's a project down there. Do you want to overwrite it? Yes, I do. And I am going to download this project. This will take, a, hopefully, with just a few screens, a few seconds. There we go. Almost done. And now it is done. I'm going to go ahead and take this compact flash disk. And so when uh, you join us back here in the video, we're going to show you how this um, putting the compact flash disk in and booting it up and getting it to run. All right, everyone, what I've done is I put the compact flash disk into the unit. I'm going to go ahead and power up the unit, and we're going to actually show the fruits of our labor and watch this thing boot up. Now, it's going to boot up into a screen with question marks because I physically don't have a PLC hooked up to the unit. So the question mark is going to be there, but you're going to see the objects and so forth that are on the screen during the, during the boot up. And you'll see that we uh, did a great job getting our application off this old P21 and getting it over here to a PA2 unit. There you go. Guys, if you have any questions about this, you need any help with this, we can talk it over the phone. Please give us a call at this number. Check us out on the website over here. We have plenty more demos and how-to videos coming up. Thank you so much for hanging out with us at Rock Studio One, and we look forward to seeing you here soon. Thank you so much.